top OnlyFans requests and wild obsession from fans are revealed by Carmen Electra. Carmen Electra joined OnlyFans a year ago, and she has cherished the opportunity to reconnect with her fans and pursue a career revival. Electra, 51 year old, shared one of her most frequently requested images from her countless followers in an exclusive interview. At first I wasn't sure if it was something I wanted to do, but I really looked into it and I realized I could be my own boss, Electra said. I love being a part of OnlyFans because I shoot when I want to shoot. I have creative control of doing whatever I want to do. She enjoys interacting with her followers via chat, pictures, and videos, but lately, there have been a lot of inquiries about one particular topic. It's funny to me because I get a lot of requests for my feet, and it cracks me up, she said. People want to see feet. Electra struggles to understand the rise in foot fetish, but she will gladly oblige with a picture or two showcasing her pedicure. There's just this wild obsession with feet. So, of course. Yes, okay, great, do you want to see my feet? I'll just grab my phone, Electra said, relaying how easy it is for her to share on the site. She added, so I'll just do a video of my feet and think of something. Try to come up with different ideas of how you can show your feet, or ask them, how would you like to see my feet? Having complete creative control over her image and content is a dream come true for Electra. The former MTV star just heated up the summer by reuniting with Jenny McCarthy to serve as the face of Kim Kardashian's Skim swimwear line. Fans were even more eager for Baywatch, another one of their favorite 90s programs, to be revived after seeing the singled out hosts back in work together. While rumors of a potential relaunch have been around for years, Electra is unsure if it will happen. It's been mentioned to me and I always say, of course, because it would be so much fun to come back, she said. I mean, just going back and doing the reunion in Hawaii was so much fun. Electra starred as lifeguard Lonnie McKenzie on the hit show which ran from 1989 to 2000. Much respect to the entire cast that worked for many, many years on that show, because it's wild. She said of the cast and crew, which included David Hasselhoff, Pamela Anderson, David Charvet and Derrico, to name a few. Tom Holland, the star of Spider-Man, claims that the business scares him. I really do not like Hollywood. Tom Holland, the star of Spider-Man, No Way Home, doesn't want to work for the entertainment industry. In an interview with the Jay Shetty podcast, the actor discussed how difficult it was for him to work in the industry and still feel like himself. I really am a massive fan of making movies, but I really do not like Hollywood. It is not for me, Holland said. The business really scares me. I understand that I'm a part of that business and I enjoy my kind of interactions with it, but that said, I am always looking for ways to kind of remove myself from it to kind of just live as normal a life as possible. He continued, I definitely think it has been an ongoing thought, which is, don't lose yourself. I've seen so many people come before me and lose themselves. And I just am really, really keen to focus on what make me happy which is my family, my friends, the charity my mom runs. That is the stuff that makes me really happy and that is the stuff I should protect. Holland began acting when he was nine years old and became well known around the world for his role as Spider-Man in the Avengers and Spider-Man movies. 
He declared in June that he would be taking a vacation from the entertainment industry, which, according to him, was scheduled after the conclusion of his Apple TV Plus series, The Crowded Room. Although his relationship with Spider-Man co-star Zendaya has also drawn attention, Holland claims that they both value their privacy and that he kept any information about their relationship to himself throughout the interview. The actor says he has made other adjustments in his life, such as giving up alcohol, and that he has been sober for nearly a year and a half. Holland realized, all I could think about was having a drink. All I could think about. I would wake up thinking about it. I was checking the clock, when's it 12, and it just really scared me. I was just like, wow, maybe I have a little bit of an alcohol thing. Later in the interview, the London-born celebrity admitted, I was definitely addicted to alcohol, but that once he gave up drinking, his life got better. I had such better mental clarity. I felt healthier. I felt fitter and I just sort of said to myself, why am I enslaved to this drink? Why am I so obsessed by the idea of having this drink? He said. It's honestly been the best thing I've ever done, he added of his decision to become sober. True tragedy is shared by Olivia Dunn with her millions of TikTok followers. One of the factors contributing to Olivia Dunn having one of the highest nil valuations among collegiate athletes is her ability to upload virtually anything on her TikTok account, where it is certain to have at least 1 million views within 24 hours. On Sunday, Dunn wrote a piece about a true tragedy. The LSU gymnast instead of posting a video, shared a slideshow of her responses to some rather dire circumstances. When she was getting cheated on or getting dumped over text, she looked to have a comfortable expression, but skipping Chick-fil-A breakfast seemed to be a whole other issue. Dunn displayed a picture of herself crying and wiping her eyes with her makeup. After arriving at Chick-fil-A breakfast at 10.31, according to the screen cap. Breakfast is available at Chick-fil-A locations from 6 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Indeed, a true tragedy. Dunn recently discussed her social media presence and the income she receives from her 7.6 million TikTok and 4.2 million Instagram followers. She claimed on a recent edition of the Full Send podcast that she had received over $500,000 for just one social media post. The LSU star's notoriety increased significantly over the previous year, in large part because of his contribution to the Tigers' fourth place result at the NCAA Championships this year. Dunn has the second highest nil worth, according to On3 Sports, with a $3.5 million estimate. She comes in second place after Bronnie James, who On3 estimates is worth $6.7 million. Tom Cruise, the star of Mission Impossible, says he enjoys the pressure of his busy schedule. In a recent interview, Tom Cruise provided fans with some insight into how he practices for his legendary parts, such as those in the Mission Impossible series. The 60-year-old Cruise said he works seven days a week, primarily producing and performing, but he also spends time practicing the outrageous exploits that appear in his movies. Look, as an actor and just in my life, I've always trained just to make movies," Cruz told Fandango. I train in many things. Singing, dancing, motorcycles, cars, and also my personal life. I like skydiving and speed flying and all these things. And I like to then go learn these things and then apply it to the movies. But it is a real trick, and I have gone through to figure out, how do I train? How do I maintain? How do you hit peak right at the moment?
Because also when I'm doing a sprinting scene, I don't just run once. Sometimes I've done 50 sprints in one day. And also the hours that I work, I work 7 days a week, and I'm producing in everything that we are dealing with during this time period. For Cruz, the pressure of his work is enjoyable. I have to say I enjoy the pressure, I do enjoy the challenge, but I realize, I woke up, and I enjoy this. Recently, the actors, Mission, Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1, co-stars shared their candid accounts of what it's genuinely like to work with the legendary actor. When they first met while filming, Mission, Impossible 3, in 2006, Simon Pegg said the actor was unique. Pegg shared that Cruz's caring nature has stayed consistent since they first met nearly 20 years ago. When I first met him, it was my first time to Hollywood, he told the outlet. He came to set the first day we met, he immediately made me feel very welcome, very at home, was incredibly generous. Olivia Dunn dating rumors are circulating following the latest Pirates-themed social media post. One of the most well-liked collegiate athletes on social media is Oliva Dunn, and with her growing notoriety have come inquiries about her personal life, including who she is dating. In April, Dunn batted aside questions about her relationship status with a TikTok user, claiming that she needed to put gymnastics before males. However, Several recent social media posts have fed suspicions that she is dating a former LSU baseball player who is making waves in the minor leagues. The gymnast shared a mirror selfie wearing a Pittsburgh Pirates ball cap on her Instagram stories. She identified herself as being in Fort Myers, Florida, in the picture. It just so happens that Paul Skeens plays for the Florida Complex League Pirates and throws in the minor league system of the Pittsburgh Pirates. On Friday and Saturday, the group faced off against the Baltimore Orioles affiliate. Bradenton hosted the game on Friday, while Sarasota hosted it on Saturday. Neither athlete has commented on the rumors of a romance. Dunn, a native of New Jersey, visited the region periodically throughout the summer and was back in the gym getting ready for her final year at LSU. On the baseball field, Skeens is generating his buzz. Skeens was chosen by the Pirates as the first overall choice in the MLB draft in July. He was voted the most outstanding player of the College World Series and assisted LSU in winning the national championship. As the top baseball player in the country, he also received the Dick Hauser Trophy and the National Pitcher of the Year Award. In his one outing with the FCL Pirates so far, Skeens has struck out once. The Barbenheimer phenomenon causes sparks explosion in UK movie ticket sales. Following the debut of Barbie and Oppenheimer, according to VIEW International, Ticket sales at UK movie theaters enjoyed their best weekend in four years. The theater chain reported on Sunday that one-fifth of its patrons had bought tickets to watch both films in the Barbenheimer double bill, which was inspired by social media. Greta Gerwig's comedy about the titular doll and Christopher Nolan's historical drama about J. Robert Oppenheimer's involvement in creating the first atomic weapon have quite different plots, and both movies were released on Friday. According to the firm, more than 2,000 of View's screenings of Barbie were sold out. Cambridge, Glasgow Street Enoch, Leeds Kirkstall, Cambron, Islington, Bolton, and Portsmouth were the cinema chain's top Barbie locations. The movie, which also stars Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie, will outpace Oppenheimer and Super Mario Brothers in terms of ticket sales, according to VIEW. Tim Richards, chief executive and founder of VIEW International, said, 
View saw its highest weekend admissions since Avengers Endgame in 2019 with the release of Barbie and Oppenheimer. Barbie is tracking to become the biggest film of 2023 and has a good chance of getting into the top 10 highest grossing films of all time. It is an incredibly exciting moment for the industry, and we expect this trend to continue for the coming weeks. For both movies, the Nationwide Theatre Network had more than 4,000 sellout showings. Over 200,000 advance tickets had been purchased, and over 10,000 people were anticipated to attend the opening weekend of both movies, according to Odeon's release on Thursday. Oppenheimer, starring Killian Murphy and Florence Pugh, has reportedly generated £8.05 million in the UK and Ireland since Friday, according to Universal Pictures. Barbie had the greatest opening weekend of any movie in North America, grossing $155 million, while Oppenheimer brought in $80.5 million. Sales have skyrocketed across the pond as well. Heidi Klum, 50-year-old supermodel stuns in nude bikini on Italian getaway. While on vacation in Italy, Heidi Klum showed off her abs and embraced the nearly naked look. The 50-year-old supermodel slid into a string bikini as she sipped her morning coffee and stared at the water. Klum has been on the ultimate European trip with her husband Tom Collitz. The caption for the photo was, Buongiorno. The, America's Got Talent, judge accessorized her golden tan with a small triangle top. She wore matching bottoms that were tied together in bows that rested prominently on her hips. Klum chose a large gold pendant necklace and shark's tooth earrings as her only accessories. Her dark blonde hair looked as though it had recently been in the ocean. She continued to adhere to her swimwear-only motif while out and about, donning a pink, zebra-striped bikini top and matching skirt. The host of Germany's Next Top Model wed German guitarist Tom Collitz, 33-year-old, as her third spouse in 2019. He doesn't have any biological kids. Klum has one daughter, Lenny Klum, with her ex-husband Flavio Briator and three children with her ex-husband, Seal. In the revenge porn lawsuit against jailed Stephen Bear, Georgia Harrison wins record damages. Stephen Bear, who was sentenced in March after being found guilty of releasing a revenge porn video of him having sex with her, will pay Georgia Harrison a record sum in damages. The biggest amount ever granted in a case involving image misuse, Bear will be required to pay Harrison £207,900 from jail. Additionally, it is among the biggest damages awards ever made in connection with a single act of privacy invasion. In a statement, Harrison said she will be donating part of the damages to multiple charities that have helped support me and other victims of image-based sexual abuse. Responding to the record damages, Hannah Basha from Payne Hicks Beach Law Firm said, This has been a difficult, complicated and emotional case. I am pleased that we were able to support Georgia, and I hope her strength in pursuing this highlights to other victims that there is help and support available for them and that the courts take these matters very seriously. In December, Bear was convicted guilty of voyeurism and two counts of revealing personal, sexual images and videos. Ms. Harrison, a former Love Island contestant, forfeited her right to privacy and admitted that the year 2020 had been absolute hell for her. The prosecution said during a trial at Kelmsford Crown Court that Ms. Harrison and Bear had consensual intercourse at his house in Lawton, Essex but she was unaware that the encounter was being videotaped.
At trial, Bear, who vehemently disputed all allegations, said he had erased the video that day and had only shared it with Ms. Harrison. Bear tweeted a 50% off promotion for his adult entertainment website during his trial, coupled with a picture of him and his fiancée Jessica Smith entering the courtroom. He was sentenced to 21 months in prison. Harrison has been one of the activists working to change the online safety bill since his imprisonment. This would outlaw the distribution of deep fake pornography, explicit pictures or films that have been digitally altered to seem to be someone else, without the subject's consent. Ariana Grande claims that she previously used Botox and fillers to hide. Ariana Grande has come clean about her usage of lip fillers and Botox, which she said she hid behind. During a beauty lesson video for Vogue, the 30-year-old singer-songwriter said that she stopped using the cosmetics in 2018. Over the years, she wore cosmetics as a disguise, especially given that she began her profession so young, she claimed. Full transparency. I've had a ton of lip filler over the years and Botox, she said, before appearing emotional. For a long time, beauty was about hiding for me and now I feel like maybe it's not, since I stopped getting fillers and Botox. And maybe I'll start getting it again one day, I don't know, to each their own whatever makes you feel beautiful I do support. The Seven Rings singer said she stopped in 2018 because it felt, so much. I just felt like hiding. I hope my smile lines get deeper and deeper and I laugh more and more, and I just think aging can be such a beautiful thing. Might I get a facelift in 10 years? I might, yeah, but these are just thoughts I feel we should be able to discuss," she added. Reflecting back, she said her view on beauty has changed so much since she was a teenager. Being exposed to so many voices at a young age and especially when people have things to say about your appearance at a young age, it's really hard to know what's worth hearing or not. But, when you're 17, you don't know that yet," she said. It's not the first time Grande has spoken out on appearances. She stated earlier this year in a TikTok video that people should be gentler and less comfortable, while making comments on the appearance of other people's bodies. If you think you're saying something good or well-intentioned, whatever it is, healthy, unhealthy, big, small, this, that, sexy, non-sexy, we just should really work towards not doing that as much," she said. There are ways to compliment someone or to ignore something that you see that you don't like, that I think we should help each other work towards. We should aim toward being safer and keeping each other safer. She also talked about her own vulnerability, adding, I was on a lot of antidepressants and drinking on them and eating poorly and at the lowest point of my life when I looked the way you consider my healthy but that in fact wasn't my healthy. Giant billboards featuring OnlyFans model cleared by advertising watchdog. Following several complaints, the UK's advertising authorities have cleared huge billboards with an OnlyFans model wearing a bra. The Advertising Standards Agency ASA, claimed that the billboards were unlikely to offend since they were not overtly sexual and did not objectify women. It follows the appearance of the advertisements, which included an image of model Eliza Rose Watson and information on her OnlyFans account, in four different London areas. One of the utilized billboards was around 450 meters from a school.
They sparked 30 complaints to the ASA, with the complainants claiming that the image was improper for placement in a place where children may view it. Watson's attire was, however, deemed to be no more than mildly sexual by the ASA, even though the picture did not contain any nudity and her position was exposing. While we acknowledge that the image of Ms. Watson in reference to OnlyFans might be distasteful to some, we considered that because the ad was not overtly sexual and did not objectify women, we therefore concluded it was unlikely to cause serious or widespread offense, an ASA spokesperson said. The closest advertisement to a school was 450 meters away, according to Amplify Outdoor, the owner of the poster locations. Environmental activists Global Witness later took control of the billboards at Bruce Grove in Tottenham, Norwood High Street in Lambeth, and Deansbrook Road in Edgware. Watson, a resident of Dorset, revealed to The Sun last month that she made almost £200,000 each month by selling pornographic photographs on OnlyFans, an adults-only website where users can purchase and trade pornographic content. The 34-year-old claimed to have spent about £18,000 on her advertising campaign, which also featured two billboards in Times Square in New York City and four billboards in the UK. She made the following statement in response to response to the billboards, If people are upset by my advertisement, I'm thinking they're also complaining about Ann Summers and Jack Daniels ones. You see ads for gambling, alcohol, sex toys, lingerie, there is no difference between that type of adult-oriented ad and my adult-oriented ad," said Watson. This is a real business, if a gambling or alcohol company can run their ads, which have far more devastating impacts. Why not me? Actress Alba Baptista and Captain America star, Chris Evans, wed in a private ceremony. According to sources in the U.S., Captain America actor Chris Evans married the actress Alba Baptista in a ceremony at their Massachusetts home. Evans, 42-year-old, and Baptista, 26-year-old, wed on Saturday in a small ceremony, page 6 reports. According to an insider, the wedding was locked down tight, and attendees had to sign NDAs and give over their phones. Some of Evans' Marvel co-stars, including Robert Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth, and Jeremy Renner, were allegedly on the guest list. The Luso-Brazilian actress, who plays the Warrior Nun in the Netflix series Warrior Nun, and the Avengers actor reportedly started dating over a year ago, according to claims that surfaced in November. They are in love and Chris has never been happier. His family and friends all adore her, the insider told People. Around the time that their connection became public knowledge, Evans, who co-starred with Baptista in Knives Out, wrote a flirtatious remark on Baptista's Instagram photo. Later, the actor uploaded pictures of himself with Baptista to his Instagram page. Evans stated in November of last year that he intended to be married, even though the couple had kept their relationship a secret. He told People, That's absolutely something I want wife, kids, building a family. When you read about most of the best artists, whether it's actors, painters, writers, most of them admit it wasn't the work they made that they are most proud of, it was about the relationships, the families they created, the love they found, the love they shared. Kourtney Kardashian thanks doctors for saving baby's life after fetal surgery. According to Kourtney Kardashian, who thanked medical professionals for saving her baby's life, she is still recovering from an urgent fetal surgery. 
The announcement comes after her husband Travis Barker's band, Blink-182, announced they were cancelling shows in the UK and Ireland because the singer had to fly home due to an urgent family matter. On Instagram on Wednesday, reality TV star Kardashian, 44-year-old, wrote, I will be forever grateful to my incredible doctors for saving our baby's life. I am eternally grateful to my husband who rushed to my side from tour to be with me in the hospital and take care of me afterwards. My rock. And to my mom, thank you for holding my hand through this. As someone who has had three really easy pregnancies in the past, I wasn't prepared for the fear of rushing into urgent fetal surgery. Kardashian, who is expecting her first child with Barker, concluded, Praise be to God. Walking out of the hospital with my baby boy in my tummy and safe was the truest blessing. To attend to what the band said was an urgent family matter, which required him to return home to the US, Blink-182 cancelled performances in Glasgow, Belfast, and Dublin. The band also wrote on social media last Friday morning. More information in regards to his return to Europe and rescheduled dates will be provided as soon as available. Before shifting to Belfast's SSC Arena on Monday this week and Dublin's 3 Arena yesterday, Blink-182 was due to perform at Glasgow's OVO Hydro Arena last Friday and last Saturday. The 47-year-old Barker also uploaded images to his Instagram story from what seemed to be an airport prayer area. Kardashian shared a video on Instagram in June announcing her pregnancy to Travis while at a Blink-182 performance. Following a practice wedding in Las Vegas a month earlier, the pair wed in May of this year in California and subsequently in Portofino, Italy. Barker has previously been married twice. The first time was to actress and former Miss USA Shanna Mochler for a brief period. They had two children together. With US media celebrity Scott Disick, who she dated intermittently for almost 10 years, Kardashian also has three kids. Drafts of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody written by Freddie Mercury are sold for £1.3 million. Drafts written by Freddie Mercury for Queen's iconic song Bohemian Rhapsody were auctioned off for more than £1.3 million. The 15-page document, which was written on paper for the now-defunct airline British Midland, demonstrates the various approaches the singer thought about taking for the band's epic six-minute song. Also includes the song's immortal line, Nothing Really Matters, and also reveals how the singer briefly pondered calling the song, Mongolian Rhapsody, before choosing, Bohemian. A treasure trove of the Queen frontman's most valued possessions, including the notes, was placed up for auction with the upscale auction house Sotheby's. At the same auction, Mercury's Yamaha Baby Grand Piano, which was used to write some of the band's most recognizable singles, sold for £1.7 million. The most money ever spent on a piece of jewelry owned by a rock singer was £698,500, which was paid for a Victorian-style serpent bracelet that Freddie Mercury notably wore in the Bohemian Rhapsody music video. It outperformed the £295,000 paid for a leather and bead talisman that John Lennon, a member of the Beatles, wore. Mary Austin, a close friend of Mercury's, auctioned off the goods. When the singer passed away from AIDS-related pneumonia in 1991 at the age of 45, he bequeathed her his Kensington home and all of its contents. 1,400 objects in total are up for auction, including a green door covered in hand-painted love notes from fans that brought in £412,750.
The celebrity's extravagant stage attire and handwritten versions of hits like, We Are the Champions, will also be up for auction. A portion of the auction's earnings, which are anticipated to reach over £6 million, will be given to charity. A Cartier onyx and diamond ring that belonged to Mercury and was gifted to the singer by Elton John sold for £273,000, with all revenues going to his AIDS charity. Before the auction, the items offered in the auction were displayed in Sotheby's galleries to create a free exhibition called Freddie Mercury, A World of His Own. In a little more than a month, the exhibit attracted more than 140,000 visitors. Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas say they have mutually chosen to divorce. In a joint statement, Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas announced their separation and stated that they had, amicably, decided to end their marriage. One of the Jonas Brothers' three members, singer Jonas, filed for divorce on Tuesday in a U.S. court, claiming that their marriage was irretrievably broken in the papers. After eloping in Las Vegas after an awards ceremony, he married Game of Thrones actress Turner in 2019. The couple has already welcomed two children. In a joint statement posted to their Instagram accounts, 26-year-old Turner and Jonas, 34-year-old, said, after four wonderful years of marriage we have mutually decided to amicably end our marriage. There are many speculative narratives as to why but, truly this is a united decision, and we sincerely hope that everyone can respect our wishes for privacy for us and our children. Turner, who played Sansa Stark in Game of Thrones, is reportedly filming in the UK while Jonas and their two kids are on tour in the US. In court filings, Jonas said the pair have shared parental responsibility over their children, adding that they have a prenuptial agreement and asking the court to uphold it. The artist hasn't been seen wearing his wedding band in recent weeks, but he did so while performing in Austin, Texas, over the weekend. Last month, Turner was spotted at the Jonas Brothers New York debut performance, and just a few weeks ago, the British actress shared an Instagram photo of herself and Joe Jonas. According to TMZ, Thomas Sasser, who previously worked for Tiger Woods during his divorce, is representing Jonas. Taylor Swift is the first female musician to reach 100 million monthly Spotify listens. Taylor Swift is the first female artist to have 100 million Spotify subscribers every month. The milestone, which came as the diva continued to set records, was dubbed by the streaming juggernaut as Queen Behavior. Swift has more number one albums than any other woman, it was revealed last month. That occurs as the 33-year-old continues to redo her first six albums as a result of a contentious legal battle with her former label. Swift is currently in the middle of her record-breaking Eras tour, which has reportedly brought in more than $1 billion in ticket and merchandise sales. The opening night of her tour in Arizona drew a whooping 69,000 spectators, making her performance there the most attended by a female artist in the U.S., surpassing Madonna. Ticketmaster has also seen significant business growth. Last November, she sold more tickets in a single day than any other performer had. Swift said earlier this month that her upcoming album, 1989, Taylor's version, will be released on October 27. She claims it to be her favorite thus far, and it will include five additional songs that were cut from the initial recording. The album's 2014 debut featured the smash singles Shake It Off, Blank Space, and Bad Blood. 
Justin Bieber takes back seat as wife Hailey Hawks' beauty brand. While his model wife Hailey Bieber continues to promote her booming cosmetics line, Road, pop singer Justin Bieber is stepping away from the spotlight. Keeping a low profile while acting as Hailey's shadow this week in New York during events and interviews for her most recent beauty care launch, Bieber wore a zip-up, shorts, and a pair of bright yellow Crocs. Haley showed off her physique in contrast to Bieber's outfit with a short red strapless dress and shoes. She sported a large, B, necklace around her neck as well. In collaboration with Krispy Kreme, Haley unveiled a new flavor of her prized peptide lip treatment that was inspired by the donut chain strawberry glazed variety. After three months without posting anything on social media, Bieber came back to Instagram to promote his wife's work, posting images of her new product and their following trip to a Krispy Kreme outlet. In addition, the Love Yourself singer revealed a ripped sweatshirt with the name of his wife written on it in a photograph of the model gazing at her spouse. Piggy Lou and Oscar, the couple's two dogs, were also there. Additionally, Bieber was seen gently guiding his wife onto a chopper and putting his hand on her back as they were being flown out of the city. Before her marriage to Justin, Haley went by the name Haley Baldwin. Last summer, she debuted her company, Road, which pays homage to her middle name. It was an instant hit, creating such high demand that a waiting list for the items was established. The business offers five unique goods. What I'm learning is that the quality of this brand is really, really important to me. Haley told Forbes of her involvement in the company. I think it would be really awesome, she added, if people just love the brand because they love the product, and not because of the family she was born into or the star she married. Marilyn Manson fined after blowing nose on camera operator in 2019. Marilyn Manson, a rock singer, was fined and given a 20-hour community service requirement after pleading no contest to blowing his nose in a cameraman's face during a performance. Following the incident at a concert in New Hampshire in 2019, the 54-year-old, whose real name is Brian Warner, appeared in court on Monday and was charged with two misdemeanor counts of simple assault. Manson entered a plea of, no contest, which means he does not contest the accusation but does not accept guilt. In exchange for the dismissal of the other charge against the musician, that he had spit on the camera operator, prosecutors agreed to accept the plea. He received a fine of slightly over $1,400 with $200 suspended, and he must avoid arrest for two years while also informing the local police of any performances in New Hampshire. According to a police affidavit, Manson confronted Susan Fountain, the camera operator, at the New Hampshire concert, positioned his face close to her lens, and spat a big loudy at her. According to an affidavit from a police sergeant who watched the videotape, Manson blew a significant amount of mucus at Fountain, and after the camera angle changes, Manson can be seen, pointing and laughing at Fountain as she gets down and walks away. The act was the most disgusting thing a human being could have done, Ms. Fountain stated in a statement. The rock star's attorney said that the type of recording Ms. Fountain was performing at the performance frequently exposed filmmakers to incidental contact with bodily fluids when Manson initially entered a not guilty plea to both charges in 2021.
The judge permitted him to complete his community service in California, and Manson informed reporters that he might decide to work with addicts as part of his punishment. The popular musician first became well-known due to his hit albums in the middle of the 1990s, but he has also been the subject of widespread criticism. Over the years, Manson has been accused of several sexual assaults. However, most of those cases have been dropped or resolved, including the now-resolved lawsuit brought by Game of Thrones actress Esme Bianco in 2021.